Hey everyone, uh, my name is Phil Shea. I'm the head varsity baseball coach at Rossery High School. I just wanted to send my condolences out to all the spring athletes that are unfortunately missing their spring seasons, and most importantly to the seniors uh, that just don't get their last opportunity to show what they've been uh, working towards uh, for the last three and a half, four years. Um, on my end, I got three seniors that are missing their final season, and I uh, just want to take a couple seconds to love on them. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Dylan Prater. Um, he's a senior captain for us, plays shortstop and pitcher. Uh, fortunately for Dylan, this is not the end of the road for him on the baseball field. Uh, he's committed to go to Owens next, uh, or this fall, uh, to play for Coach Parishow and uh, his staff. Uh, Dylan's a great kid. Uh, he he's currently carrying carrying a four point oh this year. Um, he, he does well in the classroom and has been a great leader for us on the field. Uh, I'm very excited to see what Dylan does with his future. Very strong willed kid that's going to do some good things. Um, second uh, kid I wanted to talk about is uh, Jake Schiffert. Um, and this kid falls in the break my heart category. Uh, Jake is not going to college to play sports. Uh, he's he's a great athlete as well, just like Dylan. But uh, he, he's got some other callings in life. Uh, he's he's been our starting center fielder since midway through his sophomore year. Uh, he'll do anything for the team. He'll do anything for the program. Uh, he's very selfless. Uh, Jake is heading to Owens as well. Uh, he's his goal is to either get into the fire school or the uh, law enforcement school. And, He's really going to contribute to society someday. Uh, he's he's going to do some great things outside the baseball diamond. So I'm really excited for Jake. Um, our last one is actually a really cool story. His name is Brian Sprinsky. Uh, last year, uh, we were kind of tight on numbers. We run a traditional varsity and JV program, which needed about 23, 24 guys to, to really run it well. And uh, we, we were just hovering around that number. And Brian... Uh, Hadn't played baseball since uh, coach pitch, and great athlete. He lettered in track his freshman and sophomore year, and he's been a great football player for Coach Drew's back. And uh, he just decided to come out during tryouts and said, "Hey, Coach, I, I'm I'm not great, but I'm I'm willing to help you out. I'm willing to do anything I can for you guys." And he came in and busted his butt and by about mid-season last year. Was really contributed on the JV side and helped us out a lot down there and. Over the summer and the winter, he actually really decided he wanted to be a good baseball player, and he worked he worked his butt off and came ready every day. And when tryouts came around in the spring, uh, he made the varsity team, and he we were heading to Tennessee this uh, spring, and he made the Tennessee roster as well. And uh, he was really going to help us out. He was just a really great kid that was incredibly selfless and uh, really just wanted to be there with his buddies and. It's kids like that that remind you that wins and losses aren't as important as teaching kids some life lessons. And that kid taught me taught me some stuff there. And I'm gonna miss Brian a lot. He's uh, he's planning to go to BGSU and major in business, and uh, he, he's got a great future in front of him as well. And um, I'm very excited for all three of my seniors. Um, I, I most coaches including myself, we, we really look at what happens on the baseball diamond, but our goals at the end of the day are to make sure our guys are ready uh, to contribute to society when they're done. And these three guys are going to do some great stuff, great stuff in their futures. They're going to be great husbands and fathers. And uh, we're very excited to see what happens with them. Uh, they're going to represent Rossford very well. So again, uh, my, my heart breaks for all the 2020s and uh, I, I feel terrible for the spring athletes, spring sport athletes, but uh, better days are ahead. And uh, on our end, uh, go Bulldogs.